The majority of fans here believe that for the first time in European football, an all-Portuguese UEFA Cup final is on the cards. It'll also be the first time that two teams from the same city have contested a European final. Porto look like keeping their end of the bargain. Canberra Vista edge out Celtic to make it a memorable all-a-Porto night in Seville. Nuno fresh out and George Silva are ruled out through injury. Paulo Tura is suspended. The Burr Vista hard man, who wore that protective mask due to a broken nose in the first leg, did pick up another yellow card. The newcomers are Pedro Santos, number 18, and striker Silva. This is the same 11 which began the first leg in Glasgow and Henrik Larsson scored, but also failed from the penalty spot. Martin O'Neill, the coach, can call upon striker Chris Sutton, who's recovered from a fractured wrist, but Sutton can only win a place on the substitutes bench. His front two, Larsson and Hartson, hold the key as to whether Celtic can get to their first European final since 1967. So, Boa Vista get us underway. A big night for their fans, a big night for their coach, Jaime Pacheco. Celtic have won all their away legs in reaching the UEFA Cup semi-final. Can they win again here to book that place in the final in Seville? That one came off Pedrosa, the central midfield player for Boa Vista. Former sporting man. Balharan with the throw here for Celtic, up towards Hearts. Flipped on towards Henrik Glass. Tonight's referee, incidentally, comes from Russia, Valentin Ivanov. Bit of a battle going on between Hearts and Pedrosa. Have a loss helping it forward. Away by Mialbi. Important here for Celtic not to concede an early goal. The Swedish defender getting the ball into touch. Mario Loja to take the throw here for Boa Vista. Duda. Beldi getting it clear. This is Thompson. Left side of midfield player. Good touch as well. Lars. Henrik Larsson again. As Didier again behind him. Silva tries to win it. Again. 14 is Lambert. No great accuracy in the ball. Pedrosa cut it out easily. Both sides swapping possession with ease at the moment. And Silva backing into Mialbi. Free kick now to Burvista. Mialbi didn't agree with that decision. See, his arms are around the waist of Silva. over to the right-hand side here. That's Martellino. That wasn't the best of passes from Pedro Santos. This is Martellino, the right-back of Boa Vista. Free kick given for handball. Thompson with a free kick. Slid it towards Hartson, who's got it on towards Larson. Very presentable chance. Larson got in ahead of Eder. Chances of Celtic tonight could be few and far between, and this was a pretty good one. Set up almost inevitably by the height of John Hartz and his flipped header. Silva playing alongside Duda tonight in the Burr Vista attack. Lambert captain Celtic. Other than Chris Sutton. This is a full-strength Celtic team. And Henrik Larsson has won the free kick. Big week this for Celtic. For the weekend they play league leaders Rangers in a vital Scottish Premier League game. If they lose that, the title race could well be all but over. Thompson with a free kick here for Celtic. Beldi, Petrov, Lambert gets it wide here to Agat, they're queuing up for the cross, it's not a bad one either, beaten away rather than certainly by Ricardo, Mario Loja gets his head to the ball, 
They get again here for Celtic. Good pressure from the away side. Hearts. And eventually Burvis to get it clear. Not too convincingly. Thompson. Larson. Foul by Henrik Larson. Here's that shot by Petrov. Terrific block. Look at the number of uh, Burvista players diving in to make sure Petrov didn't have a clean strike at goal. Sotsiao, unable to make progress. Mielby, changing direction. Petrov, trying to get away from Pedrosa, he was being hauled back. Stylian Petrov wins a free kick. You can see Petrov was grabbing the jersey of his opponent there. Jaime Pacheco, very animated down on the touchline. Maybe he feels his team should be as animated on the pitch. This should be Ricardo's ball, indeed it is, before Val Harlan got there. Simple take for the goalkeeper. Duda was fouled. Duda, former Benfica and Porto player. Crash landed under that challenge. If Burvista score here, it's going to be very hard for Celtic, and they know it. They have to keep on concentrating. Pedrosa with a free kick, still nil-nil on the night. 1-1 on aggregate. Burvis to have that vital away goal. Massive run up here by Pedrosa. And he wasn't too far away. I don't think Jaime Pacheco is too impressed. The building site as work continues to get it ready for Euro 2004. Well, Haran won that header. Go into Burvista. No shortage of Oakley encouragement for the home side, but can they translate that into a goal? Easier said than done. Eddie Van doing well. Hit Mialbeam, he wasn't too sure about the uh, geography of the ball there. And they're uh, willing to shoot from virtually anywhere. Real desperation here by Burvista to get shots on goal. This is Pedrosa trying his luck just before that airy van hit the ball from distance. They're convinced they're going to Seville. Maybe Jaime Pacheco is slightly more circumspect. A get. Seems to be a handball there. Erivan. Pedrosa. Erivan. Pedrosa. Pedro Santos. Not by Pecho. Asuncio Sao getting it to Martellino. Asuncio Sao, misunderstanding between goalkeeper and defender, but Mialbi got it clear. Again, and cleared by Mialbi. Eddie Van. Bobo Baldi got it clear. Good pressure here from Burvista. They're testing out the Celtic defence. And they almost got what they wanted when Douglas and Mialbi seemed to chase the same ball. That's it. Silva and the real pressure Duda Mario Loja Duda Pedro Santos probably the most cogent attack 
for Vista put together in the first half. Douglas had that post covered. Had the shot been any more accurate, he would have provided the save. Adair with the header away. Seemed to be a handball there by Sutton. Chris Sutton still with that wrist heavily bandaged. Ricardo with a clearance. Away by Bobo Baldi. Asuncio Sao. Petrov lost it. Martellino. If this were a boxing match, you'd probably have Burvista slightly ahead on points. But they haven't landed that knockout punch yet. And Celtic continue to keep their guard up. Petrov. Baldi. Good touch by Larson. They get. Just slipped at the vital moment, and his frustration was evident. Oh, Valharan's in trouble. Martellino is round Balde. Silva's waiting in the middle. It's Silva. And clawed away by Douglas. Wasn't the most convincing of headers here by Silva. Petrov. Melby. Wonder what Martin O'Neill's going to say at half time. Throw in taken by Melby. Up towards Sutton. And so far, so good for Boa Vista. They've defended that vital away goal. And another 45 minutes of scoreless football, and they will be through to the UEFA Cup final. At half-time, it's Boa Vista nil, Celtic nil. Cup semi-final second leg, nil-nil on the night against Boa Vista. 1-1 on aggregate, and that means that away goal that Boa Vista scored in Glasgow at the moment is on course to take them through. Vista have dispatched Paris Saint-Germain and Hertha Berlin on the away goal rule, so it would be a notable hat-trick for them to knock Celtic out here. Silva. Plays the ball forward to Duda, but Baldi's there first. Picks out Didier Aguet. Belharden. Had to stretch to get there, had to get the ball. Thompson shrugging off his opponent before delivering that ball forward towards Henrik Larsson. They still believe their team can do it. Duda, Silver in support. Silver now for Boa Vista. Well, was that a cross or was it a shot on goal? Look of desperation on the faces of those Celtic supporters. I hope his players understand those instructions. Petrov. Sutton now for Celtic. Powerful run forward by Avalos. What a chance there for Boa Vista to wrap up this game. No wonder Pacheco looks crestfallen. This could have been the defining moment of the match. Terrific cross here by Duda. 
And when Douglas spilled it, Silva really should have put that ball in. Silva will wonder about that opportunity if Boavista failed to go through. Asuncio Sao, poor ball to Pedrosa. Now, the Celtic players in the first leg claim that the Boa Vista players were play-acting a lot when the tackles are flying in, and I suggest they're just underlining that complaint again now. It is a free kick to Boa Vista. Pedrosa's going to take it. That one was always moving wide of goal from Avalos. Could have even been an offside in there against Erivan. Oh. Vista have seen a good deal of the ball in the second half. Duda, who is Claudio, who is now his attacking partner. Pedro Santos, Martellino, goalkeeper got there first. And he had to. Instant clearance by Douglas. Hartson and Larson have hardly got in this game for Celtic. Douglas has certainly been the busier of the two goalkeepers. Rare free kick goes Celtic's way for that push on Chris Sutton. It was being brought there by Asuncio Sao. Felipe! Free kick by Petrov. Away by Pedrosa. First shot on goal in the second half for Celtic. Came from Thompson, and it's taken deflection. And he's gone out for the corner. Thompson scored some vital goals away from home this season. Corner then to Celtic. Beaten clear by Ricardo. A gap. Flags up. Celtic offside. Ricardo taking no risks at all here. But you can see John Hartz wasn't really aware of what was going on. Do that. Luis Claudio is unmarked. Where's Duda going with the ball? Pedro Santos, Marcellino, Luis Claudio. Still, Boa Vista will feel they have an outstanding chance of making it to the final. They just have to stop Celtic scoring. Sutton beaten in the air. Ted Rosser with a clearance. And as far as Mialbe, the Swedish defender. <laughs> Free kick goes per Vista's way. With that chip on uh, Martellino. They play and penalised, free kick now, which Ricardo will take. <laughs> Duda caught offside, and Celtic will try again. Sutton, delicious layoff, loss. It's Larson! Oh, it's taken a deflection and got in! A vital away goal for Celtic! Joy unconfined down on the Celtic bench. And against a run of play, Henrik Larson has scored a goal here which could take Celtic all the way to Seville. The goalkeeper had committed himself. He was going one way. And then he had to move the other way, couldn't get there in time. A scrappy goal. The goalkeeper got his fingertips to it, but couldn't keep it out. 
Celtic lead 2-1 on aggregate. It's a very different cup tie now. Bervista will have to throw everything into attack and keep alive the hopes of this all Porto UEFA Cup final. Another change coming up here for Barvista. Yoki Valter on for Erivan, Yuri on for Pedrosa. Smith has replaced Valharden. And Celtic in no great hurry to get on with this game. Celtic now edging in on their first European final since 1970. They first won the European Cup in 1967, ironically, on Portuguese soil. The Gats won the free kick. with a free kick, in towards Hart, just skimmed off his chest. But really, Celtic's ambitions now lie in keeping Burvista out in these last minutes of the game. Sutton. Martellino. Yuri with a cross. attempt by Boa Vista, but unfortunately for them, Luis Claudio couldn't turn it in. He had no space in which to manoeuvre anyway. Hartz. Mario Loja launches the ball forward. Mielby. Oh, he, he's lost it in a very dangerous position. That's going to be a free kick to Boa Vista. Yellow card for Mielby. But is it going to be more costly for Celtic? Luis Claudio had got away from him. Is this Burvista's moment? The answer is no. Duda. Should be the keeper's ball. It's rather weakly punched clear. Luis Claudio looking for it. Away by Mialbi. Anywhere will do now for Celtic. Just the throw. It's a long throw as well. Turned by, by Avalos. Handball surely in there. Well, Celtic were hoping for a free kick inside the area. Yuri won the corner. Here is the corner now from Boa Vista. And they want a penalty. Not given. Joachim Valter went to ground with some ease. It was a very decent call for a spot kick. And the referee turned that one aside. Agat is a mighty fortunate not to be penalised. He's given it away in a dangerous position. Adair now playing as a centre forward. Yuri. Chance for the centre half, Adair. And then Duda. It's desperate stuff here by Celtic. Duda again. The Brazilian Yoko Valter, the substitute. And it deflects off the head of Bobo Baldi. Out for the corner kick. Yoki Valter in a real hurry to get on with the game. Is this going to be another famous away victory for Celtic in this season's UEFA Cup? Away by Mielby. Mario Loja. Goal kick. Time is running out fast here for Bar Vista. Martin O'Neill could be drinking champagne very shortly. 
referee urging Celtic to get on with the game now. He looks like a condemned man. Ball launch forward. Just about anywhere by Celtic to waste time. Ricardo is almost acting as a ball boy at the moment. Baldi, Thompson. Again, Ricardo has to sprint to the other side of the pitch to retrieve the ball. To try set up another late, late attack here for Bar Vista. Baldi heads clear. Baldi hesitated, then got his boot to the ball. Yuri tries to win it. Throw into Bar Vista. It really is now or never for the home side. Sutton. Martellino. And the shot over the top by Luis Claudio. When Bar Vista needed a steady hand, then he went for the spectacular. Mielby is struggling here. He won't mind one little bit if the school line remains the same. John Robertson and Martin O'Neill can hardly contain themselves. Celtic go to Seville for the UEFA Cup final. The dream of an all a Porto final has been shattered by the Scottish club. The goal by Henrik Larsson in the second half was enough to take Celtic through. And the dreams of Bar Vista have turned into nightmares. Bar Vista nil, Celtic 1, Celtic win 2-1 on aggregate. And you can see that.